Hey y'all, welcome back to my home, or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Kelly Ann, and today I am really getting so much done while Drew takes a nap. While Drew is eating his lunch, I'm just gonna go ahead and start cleaning up the kitchen while he is restrained in his high chair. He has been on such a pizza kick. This is his second piece of pizza. He just absolutely loves it. So I'm giving it to him because I've been having trouble getting him to eat. So now he is just a happy camper whenever he has his pizza. But we're gonna go ahead and unload this dishwasher because I do have some dishes I need to put back in it. Usually when Drew is running around, he's going to try and help me unload the dishwasher. So while Drew naps or is in his high chair, I am just able to get so much more done than I can if he's running around. This is someone else I'm not myself. Drew is always taking down my tea towels. I think he thinks that I hang them up just so he can rip them down. But now I'm just gonna tidy up the countertops and lately I have been on a tea kick. As y'all know, I had been sick. I tried the birth control patch and it made me so sick. It made me honestly feel like I was pregnant again, but I'm not pregnant, so I got some food aversions. So I haven't been drinking coffee, but I have been drinking tea and I am obsessed with it now. I even got some tea biscuits, which are so good. And as you can see, Drew's onto his third slice of pizza. He is just a pizza maniac. But back to the tea. So like British tea biscuits, I know most of my viewers are in the US, like British tea biscuits are basically US cookies, but they're like firmer and crunchier and they don't have as much sugar so they are healthier for you so i have been having tea multiple times a day and i have just been having a cracker not a cracker a biscuit or two while i'm enjoying my tea and drew actually loves them as well I absolutely love slipper socks. They are my favorite thing to wear around the house. We have steps that are hardwood. They used to be carpet, but we replace them with some luxury vinyl, and I'm always afraid that I'm gonna slip down them when I'm wearing regular socks. So that's why I love these slipper socks because they have grips on the bottom. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum our couch. Drew has been eating on here, so there are crumbs all over it, as well as cat hair. And this is just like my cordless vac. I just took off the long part of it that you use for the regular floors. And it has this attachment that has like a strip of felt on it and it really grabs the cat hair. So that's one of the reasons why I love this vacuum. You just saw all the fuzz that came off, but now my tea is ready for me to enjoy. I just put a couple of sugar cubes in there and then a splash of milk and it is so good. These rich, these rich tea biscuits basically taste like animal crackers. That's what they remind me of. But Drew is obsessed with those crackers as well. And now we're gonna head upstairs and put Drew down for his nap so I can really get to work. I live in Western North Carolina and our weather loves to flip flop and it got so hot in my house this day. It was like 60 something outside. So in our house we had the heat on and it was almost like 70 so I was burning up. Usually we keep it around like 66 so that is why I opened the back door to try and get a little bit of air to filtrate but now I am going to just use some Lysol cleaner to disinfect our countertops. Y'all know I love the Mrs. Meyer spray but unfortunately it is not a disinfectant so I do have to make sure that I'm still using the Lysol in here even though it doesn't smell as good.
was recently at Ross and I saw this bottle of Barkeeper's Friend. It's a like stainless steel cleaner and usually I use like the liquid version of it, but I decided to give this one a shot and I actually really like it. It's a lot less messy than the like cream liquid version. It also comes in a powder. I'm sure if you watch YouTube cleaning videos, you have seen lots of people using it, but I am a fan of the spray. I'd never seen it like at my grocery store or at Walmart or anything. Maybe it's something that they tried and it just didn't take off. So maybe that's why it was at Ross, but I think it turned my um, stainless steel sink nice and clean and polishy. Usually I'll just use like Dawn if I don't feel like using the Barkeeper's Friend, but also when I was recently at a local store, I found this Scrub Daddy sponge holder. I had never seen this at Walmart either, but look how cute my sponge looks now and it allows it to actually drain so I can make my sponge last longer. I'm also using some of the Barkeeper's Friend Spray as well as a little scrubby pad that's made for glass cooktops. I'm just cleaning off our glass cooktop because there has been a lot of stuff get baked on here recently. I do prefer to cook with gas so I'm really hoping our next home has a gas stove. Plus it just makes me so nervous every time I have like a pot to like boil over in it gets on the glass cooktop it makes me so nervous that it's gonna leave like a cooked on stain I do have a few scratches on my glass cooktop that I think are from my pots and pans but I don't know I tried to maintain it but I also probably should look into how to maintain it but for right now I've just been using the barkeepers friend to get it nice and shiny and sometimes I even spray some spray away cleaner on there as well to polish it up As I said earlier, I haven't really been drinking coffee anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and put our coffee maker back in the closet and get it out of the way because I was using it daily and there's no need to just have it cluttering my countertop. So I put it in our little closet that's across from the pantry just to get it out of the way. Maybe one day I'll start drinking coffee again. But those Nespresso coffee makers seriously make the strongest coffee like ever. I have to put so much creamer and milk in it. I don't know why it's like the Keurigs I think make a pretty weak brew, but then the Nespresso coffee makers, it is just so strong. But now I'm just going to pick up Drew's messes on the floor. Obviously there's pizza box because he's been eating so much pizza, but like I'll throw something away and Drew gets it out of the trash and it ends up on the floor. I probably should put a child lock thing on the trash instead of complaining about it. I will have to add that to my to-do list. So my cabinets are so dirty, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these down. I haven't done it in quite a while, so there's like, I don't, I don't even know what that is. There's just gunk all over them, so yeah, they definitely need to be wiped down.
The last time I cleaned my cabinets, I just used some warm water and some Dawn Power Wash Spray. I just put it in the bowl of water and wiped it down really quickly. But today I'm using my Mrs. Meyer Spray. My favorite scent is the mint. That's one of the spring scents. So pick that up the next time you're at the store. It smells so good and it just lingers and it's not overpowering. So that's what I'm using today. I'm also using a rag instead of paper towels just to try and save on some paper towels. Although I do wish this was a microfiber rag. I didn't have any downstairs and didn't feel like going upstairs to find a microfiber rag. So this little rag is just gonna have to do today. Our fridge is starting to look a little bit grungy too, so I'm also gonna use some spray weight cleaner to just wipe off the fridge. I have tried the stainless steel spray weight cleaner, but I prefer the glass cleaner. I think it gives it a nicer shine, and I used to work at a deli, and this stuff, when I use the original scent like I am right now, just takes me back to being a teenager and working at that deli. I like to use the lavender scented spray way. I prefer that scent over the original. It's not a bad scent. It just brings me back to working in food and bev, which I have not done in forever. I went to college and became an accountant. I was a tax accountant and I actually hated that. It is not for me and I've also driven Uber in the past. That was much more fun than being a tax accountant and it actually paid a lot better than being a tax accountant did. So yeah, that's just, I don't know, I guess our economy these days, when you are a gig worker, I think you can actually make pretty good money, at least that's what I found. But we do live in a tourist economy, but when I was doing Uber, I was making like $100 an hour, which I think that's pretty good compared to doing accounting. It came out to be about $40 an hour, but now I'm just making a diaper caddy is about time. Drew's almost two. And I'm sick of having our boxes of diapers and wipes down here, so that solved that issue. So this front closet used to be organized, but over the past week, I've had to come in here twice to get to our little filing system that we have in here and it was on the very bottom of everything so i just messed everything up when i was trying to reach the file so i am going to go ahead and reorganize this and there was a lot of stuff that didn't need to be in here i had a lot of decor in there that i didn't have a home for i need to get some more storage bins from the store but decor really doesn't need to be kept in this closet. So I am just gonna basically take everything out of here and rearrange it. I had to find the filing little bin because I recently had to go and get my car like registration renewed and you have to get your car inspected and I didn't know if I needed 
like proof of car insurance. So that's all I was trying to find. I'm from South Carolina where you don't have to get your car inspected. You can drive whatever car you want. Doesn't matter the emissions, but North Carolina, you do have to go and get like a safety check. Make sure all your headlights and taillights, wipers and whatnot work as well as get an emissions test. So I thought that was so weird when I moved to North Carolina and I still have to make a conscious effort to remember to do it every year. Now I'm going to go ahead and make our bed. I went ahead earlier and took off these sheets and wash them and I need to figure out what is up with our washing machine whenever I try to do like like wash my sheets even though they don't take up that much space in the washer I guess they must hold a lot of liquid because it makes the load get off balance and it takes forever for them to go through the wash cycle I don't know what's up with our washer it's still pretty new we got it when we moved in here like two years ago and I also really need to get a spare pair of sheets because these are our only bed sheets. I always forget to pick some up or order some off of Amazon. I need to go ahead and order them so I don't have to wait for our sheets to be washed and clean before I can put a fresh set on there. So now we are heading back downstairs and I really wanted to be able to clean the floors really well before Drew woke up from his nap so that's what I'm doing now. This was the only part of the downstairs that I hadn't vacuumed yet. So I rolled up the rug and I'm just getting everything nice and vacuumed before I go ahead and mop and I'm just using my O-Cedar mop. This thing has been a game changer. I really prefer it over the Swiffer Wet Jet or my Bona. And I can just tell it gets my floors so much cleaner. So this is gonna be the last thing I do before Drew gets up. Now it is time to get Drew up from his nap. I could hear him rummaging around in his crib, but thank you so much for watching today and I hope you were able to clean along with me. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video.